Today we're taking a visit to one of streaming's favorite streamers. Good old Dr. Diddler. Good old Dr. Disrespect. I kid, I kid, I kid. Kid. Now, nah, all jokes aside, he isn't accused of diddling. Let's very much make that clear. What's happening with Dr. Disrespect is he's being investigated but i guess not investigated since the investigation has happened and he himself admitted to the thing that is being accused dr disrespect was banned from twitch and nobody knew why he was banned and then it came out recently that it turned out he was banned because he was possibly having contact with a minor on june 22nd 2024 dr disrespect would put up this tweet saying listen i'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with twitch but I just need to say what I can since this is the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled, nothing illegal, no wrongdoing was found, and I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. Now, I want you to keep that in mind. He himself said I did nothing wrong. It has been probed and settled, nothing illegal. Wrong and illegal aren't the same thing. Let's just keep that clear. Also, think about it in this perspective, right? any company getting in trouble for something rather than go through crazy amounts of litigation what they do is they settle it that way there's no more talk about it they don't get as much bad pr even though if it's out there it's out there but it doesn't get extremely investigated with all the proof in hand so you had many people on different sides of the aisle saying hey we don't know yet hey let's give him the benefit of the doubt hey he didn't do it no son of mine but then more recently we got this larger tweet because of all the resurfaced drama about it right Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the F and BS. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about. And I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studio. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families, and I'd never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. So just analyzing this piece here, he's saying this is an apology, but in the other tweet, before he knew this was going to, you know, surface as much, he said he did nothing wrong. Mm, not a good look, doc. The tweet goes on to then say, were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Nothing illegal happened. No pictures were shared. No crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect and I'll effing own my shit. This was stupid. Now with all this said, don't get it effing mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no effing predator or pedophile. Are you kidding me? Anyone that truly knows me effing knows where I stand on those things with those types of people. F that. That's a different level of disgust that I effing hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the F out of here with that shit. <laughs> Get the F out of here with that shit. But I think I've said what I needed to say regarding the ban itself. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. So to sum up that section, in 2020, he was banned for possible interaction with a minor in 2017. And in this, he's taking responsibility for everything that happened. But again, remember in that first tweet, he said nothing wrong was done. And in my latest video, I talked about the difference between doing something wrong, apologizing, and then doing it again, which would make you a hypocrite. 
Now, in this standing, he publicly said he didn't like that behavior. And then he ca- came out to be the fact that, you know, he was doing something that he himself would classify as wrong. Isn't it odd, though, that Twitch banned him in 2020, but this happened in 2017, and now, you know, 2024 is resurfacing? It's almost like three, three and a half, four years later, every single time. Do I think it's fair to go ahead and label him a pedophile or a predator? I don't know. I mean, how old is he? Dr. Disrespect, age in 2017. Let's see. Okay. He was about 35 in 2017. 35? Is that right? How old is bro? So he's born 1982, 2024 minus 1982. He's 42? God damn. So at the time of this happening, he was 35 talking to a 17 year old. That's twice, he's he, that's, that's, that's more than twice the person's age. But the question then that we have to figure out is did he know that they were underage at the time? You know, did they, were they having these conversations? And then the person was like, by the way, I'm 17. Did they say, oh, my name is Amber and I'm 17. And then they proceeded with the conversations because that very much does change the situation. And what was his behavior after he found out the age? Did he stop? Did he say he was uncomfortable? You know, I mean, but he said they're casual, mutual, and they sometimes leaned in the direction of being too inappropriate, right? Nonetheless, I'm 28. I'm not engaging in conversation with a 17 year old, you know, clearly old boy had a lapse in judgment. I mean, obviously, but my thing is if we're holding up the standard of shows like to catch a predator, all of that tends to be people that are, you know, in their 30s. Some of them are 20 is a variety of ages, but they're talking to 16, 15, 17 year old bait people. And I personally, you know, I can't condone the behavior. I mean, I remember, I remember I was 16 and someone tried to introduce me to a girl at a party. And then she was 14. And I felt like that was too much of a gap for me. You know, that's like, it's just not right. I was like, no, thank you. So it doesn't take too much effort to take yourself out of a situation. Why was I 16 at a party? Why was there a 14 year old at a party? I don't know. When when you're out in the streets, just fucking being a person, you find yourself in these situations. You know what I mean? Doing too much drinking and such, you know, rip to the old days. It happens. I mean, people's parents aren't home. Open house, friends invite friends, we invite friends, we invite friends. So an interesting thing about this tweet, though, is that he changed it three times. During the portion where he says, were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? He then changed it to, were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual back in 2017? And then after backlash, because on Twitter Blue, you can see people's edit history, he then rechanged it to, were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? So he went individual minor, eh, individual, uh, individual minor, you know? So he tried to do some like damage control with the wording, which is also not a good look. Delete the whole tweet, resend it. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is kind of go down the list of some of the most popular streamers and check out some of their reactions to this news. That way you can get it all here in your one-stop shop. So first we're going to check out Tim the Tapman and see how he took the news of Dr. Disrespect. And again, some of these people were just work colleagues. Some of these people were what they would consider friends with him, you know? And some of them don't really work with him at all. It's just a peer. So we're just going to look at the variety of reactions we ended up getting from the situation. Wow. This is absolutely insane, bro. Everything I'm seeing. I have known Doc for a while now. We've played games for years. And um, seeing everything that is spiraling right now is a uh, very difficult thing for me personally. And I'm sure for a lot of y'all out there. I think for me, I know a lot of you are asking, Tim, what are you feeling? Tim, what are you feeling? My bottom line, I think, is if what he is saying where he said that he was messaging a minor and it would sometimes lead to teeter on inappropriate, if he knew that was a minor and those were the messages being sent, I cannot support that. 
I can't. I appreciate y'all. I am, this is beat me up, but this is unfortunate to say the least. This is awful. So appreciate you guys. Thank you for the love you give. And, uh, I'll see y'all soon, man. So there was Tim, the tap man's reaction to the situation. And I mean, as you can expect these types of things, whether it's this specific instance or just, you know, any type of unfortunate situation can have an effect and trickle on the other people that, you know, that you love and care about in your life at any, every degree, whether it's a friend or family. And I mean, Tim kept it pretty simple. As you can see, he said, if, if, if he didn't know, if he knew it was a minor at the time, then I can't support that because, you know, it's less than favorable behavior, you know? And I could see how that's beating him up. You know, I mean, we all have those coworkers or just friends in general that we're, you know, working with a lot, enjoying some times with you. You find out something crazy about them. How do you move? It's probably overwhelming. You know what I mean? Because then you have the public perception of if you were to forgive this person. What, what would you what would you do if you found yourself in this situation? You know, next up, we have Ninja here. I just want to touch on some things lately, guys. Obviously, there's been a lot of like drama that's been going on, uh, not involving me, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and I'm just, I just got two things to say, and then we're just going to move on and keep playing Fortnite. All right, number one, anything involving a minor at all, no matter what it is, like, is, is not okay, it's messed up, and it's illegal, and it's, it's pretty simple. So especially if you... All right, I'm not going to get too much into detail about that but like come on it's 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 a no-brainer right that's number one but and number two with the whole doc situation and um and just what's been released these last two days like here's what i'll i'll point out for now and that is if you guys don't know midnight society who which is the game that doc helped build right and create and he was a part of the company did their own investigative research behind the scenes, right? And found enough, right? Found enough evidence to let him go from the company, right? Not like, not administrative leave, not, we'll address this later, like, let him go after doing their own research, right? And after doing their own in internal investigation behind the scenes. So like, if that's not enough, right, evidence or, or, or enough to, like, they found something is what I'm trying to say, okay? Now, let's, like, I've, I've, I've seen a bunch of clips out there. I've seen a bunch of stuff from XUC, like, who said apparently there's more stuff coming out. So until then, it's only been two days into the situation. So let's just wait until we see more. But, like, that's all I have to say. Yeah, saying I didn't do anything illegal or, like, there was no wrongdoing... I mean, a lawsuit at the end of the day, not a lawsuit, but a settlement, right? Because there's talks about a settlement, a settlement, no matter what it looks like publicly, it usually means someone did something, right? Or there was some truth to some enough truth, right? You, you, you settle to cover things up. You settle to not let things get out there. All right. So just do your own research, look stuff up and, and just, let's just keep on waiting for, for some more stuff. Um, sorry, more evidence. Um, moving on in the future, but done with the drama. I didn't even want to talk about this because I, I hate stuff like this. But, you know, as being in the community, like a leader of the community, and, and same with the doc being a leader community, like I had to touch on it. That's my two cents. Don't fucking text minors or do any of that shit. It shouldn't be that difficult. Um, just be a good person, man, and be a leader in the community. He's mostly calling for more evidence to be released and to be checked out and you know, even though we have the admission from Doc at this time, who knows what else might come out. We might actually get a chance to see some of these messages. One thing that he did say, though, when he said anything that involves a minor is wrong, et cetera, et cetera, and illegal. That's not actually true. See, as we know, the formula for To Catch a Predator is that they would have this bait person emailing, messaging these different people of different ages and when they try to meet, Chris Hansen walks out, does his little dance, tells him to take a seat. The person goes, I got to go. And they're escorted by the police to a car and then a jail. The thing about To Catch a Predator that you may not know is that a lot of these guys ended up not serving any jail time 
or didn't get any charges because it was strictly messaging and not all of them sent photos or anything. They were just messaging. So that's one of the reasons why that show's formula actually didn't work. And then I think some person ended up hurting themselves because of the public exposure they got. So not everything is outright illegal. It's suspect, suspicious, and possibly morally wrong, but it is not outright illegal, you know, depending on what's going on. So next up, we have Nick Merckx. We have his initial take on the piece, and then we have things he mentioned during a live. Yo, yo, checking in. I'm seeing everything on Twitter, and uh, I read through Doc's tweet, and in that very tweet, uh, he basically confirms that you know, he was texting an underage girl and it went weird sometimes, you know, and, and look, just to just to be blunt and straightforward, man, I, it, that's that's inexcusable. It's unacceptable. Right. Uh, there's no excuse for something like that. And, and I can't support it. Hang on, honey. Doing this. I'm talking to Twitter. I can't support it. I can't defend it. And uh, look, the boys and I are torn up over it, too, man, because we played a lot of games with a guy and, and feels a little weird but what can you do you know so i just wanted to update you guys on, on my thoughts and how i'm feeling and uh, i mean look I, ho I hope i hope you guys have a good day all right we still don't know if he knew she was underage yes we do yes we do he admitted that in his tweet yeah people are still trying to defend what he did um i mean even he tried to defend what he did in a really odd way in that tweet like he said that he knew that she was underage and he would still text her, and the text, I, I, I can't remember how, how he put it in his tweet, but what, what, what did it say, that the texts were, would sometimes go a certain way? Yeah, he edited the tweet three times. Just, just so bad. It's so bad, you guys. It's so bad. And, and look, uh, what do you want from me, man, you know? I gave the guy the benefit of the doubt until, until we knew more. But look, it's unacceptable when, when you have – just in in any in any world that is unacceptable you just got to you just got to be you got to be smarter you got to be better you can't do like that it's 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 not only is it against the law but where the f is your your head and your heart at to do things like that you know what are we doing why are we doing stuff like that so to act like i don't care or act like i'm not upset about what the the what he did is crazy you just have to remember that he that he was a friend of mine so obviously I'm going to behave a little bit differently. I got some weird, you know, attachments to, to uh, this, you know? I do. He's, he, he was a friend. People think that we're like best friends. Like we're hanging out. I don't even know the guy outside of a wig. We took one picture together and newsflash, he was in a wig. It's not easy to go through, you know, as a friend. Was or are you staying his friend? Oh, no, I'm not staying his friend. No, I'm going to look, you know, your friends can make mistakes and you can forgive and stuff, and you don't need to live with all that hate in your heart, I guess, per se. But like I said, th this kind of thing for me is inexcusable. So there we have Nick Merck's take, and I think that's a very valid one as well, you know. Much like Tim the Tatman, you know, he doesn't excuse the behavior. He's not, he's not a fan of it. He played many games with Doc. But as he said, they weren't necessarily best friends, but they were friends. And he's not going to remain his friend because the behavior is inexcusable as far as his perspective is. And I like the angle that he went where he's talking about, you know, your friends can make mistakes and you can forgive them. So that way you don't have to carry that around, which is a very positive thing. But some things cross that line. Let me know in the comments what you think about this situation. Where is your line in this? Do you think that we need to wait on even more information? Do you think it's all said and done? Let me know what you think in the comments below. What's your rationale behind it? Should simple contact with a minor that's underage be in the list of things that are illegal? Let me know what you think below. Much love as always. Be safe out there.